beautiful Aries, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take money, e-gifts, donations, I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them, it is a scam. Now, I have felt recently the collective energy has been feeling quite low, so I thought of ways to really inspire and uplift everyone um, with shorter videos. So. Um, I'm going to remain on YouTube with my longer videos, of course, but I've migrated over to TikTok to upload short, sharp videos, 60 seconds or less, with um, inspirational videos, nature, uh, quotes, but also card of the day, pick a card, as well as there is a Q&A facility there, which I'm really excited to get to grips with as well. So if you're on TikTok, please follow the link in the comments box below. Um, apparently there's another Bob Julie out there, so please follow the, the, the link in the box below there. But if you're not on TikTok, of course, then, you know, give it a wide berth. Um, but also, it's free. No money, no e-gifts, no donations there either. Now, let's get straight to your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly. So please be mindful. There's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Aries, so this is Scorpio season. Um, you may have been a little bit more reflective than usual. Um, emotions coming to the surface, things that we have been avoiding tend to come up during this time. Um, it doesn't have to be, it can mean more that you're sitting with your feelings and being a bit more reflective with your own truth. And sometimes it feels a little bit uncomfortable, um, but it's about processing those uncomfortable feelings in order to release them and step into more energy, more empowerment. Okay, so um, especially as we move through this period into uh, that full moon in Taurus, it will be a full moon eclipse. And that brings very powerful change energy, uh, which actually um, is abundance. It's a time for looking at uh, finances and prosperity in general. Um, so things get a little bit luckier towards the end of the month there. Um, but this reading is a little bit different. It is about you, Aries. It is about how you are processing your feelings right now or how you're navigating the time period that we're living in. Um, and they want one more. So thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please? Thank you so much. Um, a lot of flowers in your reading. Um, so a lot of blossoming and uh, learning, blooming there. Um, but yeah, so this normally tarot readers, including myself, uh, we often focus on money, career or love. Those things that we feel the collective really want to uh, connect to. But this is about you. So um, this is a little bit different. Um, I'll be doing my usual readings in the next couple of days, of course. Now, the first card we got is number 14, and that is the fox. So you're being really clever about something. You may not uh, give yourself um, you know, a pat on the back, which you should do, uh, because whatever it is that you are doing right now, you're being very savvy, okay? Now, if you think about the energy of the fox, I love foxes. They are so beautiful, just so beautiful. And I know there's... Um, they're naturally doing what they need to do when they, you know, get in the chicken coop and things like that. So, of course, uh, that is upsetting, but they're showing me that image right now. So perhaps you're doing something that really puts the fox amongst the chickens rather than the cat amongst the pigeons. Um, so I feel like you're ruffling feathers, perhaps. But whatever it is, I feel like you're being savvy. I feel like you're not allowing a situation to um, dominate you. I feel like you're being instinctive. I feel like you're actually... Um, when you think about a fox, they often operate during, um, well, they have harsh conditions and, uh, you know, they seek out the food that they need or they're very independent. Uh, so I feel like you are being very independent and very savvy about your situation and very strong. Okay. Foxes are very clever. Um, and sometimes it can be about being sly, but I don't feel like you're being sly, um, my beautiful Aries. I, you know, you've got a beautiful heart there. I feel like whatever it is you're doing, it is, an, it is for the greater good, okay? I feel like you are doing something that is um, 
helping the community or helping those that you care about because we've got the number 12 there which is the owl and that is about community now people may gossip about you it may be that there are things being said behind your back but i feel like uh, actually there's some uh things that are being said that are good and envious let's put it that way okay so um, i feel like you're making some changes here uh, that people may talk about um, but I feel like you are doing it for those reasons which are good for yourself, but also good for your, those in your inner circle, your, your tribe, your, your, either your family unit or your soul tribe, your friends. Um, but it's number 14 as well, which is a temperance card. So I feel like you're turning a disruptive energy into something really positive. You, you know, it's almost like you're turning something around, something that may have been chaotic. You're turning it into something really positive, something really balanced or something really harmonious for you. You're also activating patience, which is not something Aries tends to have. And I love Aries. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm Scorpio and I have impatience as well. So I really feel you when it's like you need something now, you kind of need something now, right? So I feel like you are exerting or exhibiting patience as well right now as well. It's almost like you're playing the long game on something and you're being really savvy about it, okay? So I do feel like um, you're turning, I mean, you could be turning like uncertainty into something really certain. It's almost like you're doing an opposite. Yeah, you're turning something that is unstable into something that is stable. Something really positive is coming out of this. Uh, we've also got number nine, sorry, number nine there, which is the bouquet, which is about gifts. You may be recognizing that you have a lot of gifts that you've been not using because it's in the challenge position. So they're indicating here, you know, be more receptive for the universe to uh, give you abundance. Because sometimes, my beautiful Aries, you're very independent. And you're like, I got this. I can do this. I got it. I don't need nobody. Um, you know, I, I feel that's you know, a very admir admirable, yeah, uh, trait. But sometimes the universe is like, but I'm trying to give you this opportunity. I'm trying to give you this gift. Don't You don't have to battle away all the time. Be open to receive. So if you're the sort of person, for example, who someone gives you a compliment, Aries, and you're like, um, oh yeah, so are you. Or um, yeah, thank you very much. I love your skirt. Or I love your shoes. Or, you know, or yeah, you have beautiful eyes too. If you're always batting the compliment, uh, the compliment back to people there may be a problem with you receiving um, being open to abundance and to compliments and to you know other people helping you so there's just something about that coming up right now so I have to give you what they're giving me here also you will discover in the next couple of weeks that you have some untapped potential uh, a gift in a certain area is what they're showing me here that's really gonna blossom and thrive um, I feel this is something that you do, only you, and it is unique to you because it's number nine. And number nine is the hermit energy. So this is about a discovery, a personal discovery here um, that you have a talent for something. And you're going to be very clever about using it, that it's actually going to help you thrive and blossom. And I do feel like there's good news surrounding this talent, whatever it is that you have. Um, I feel like if you've only just started to discover that or you've always kind of known that you've got a talent in that area or a strength in a certain area. I feel like it comes to the fore in the next couple of weeks and it actually activates some really good news. Something really positive is coming in from that. I feel like you thrive using that. Uh, now also um, they are indicating, and I know it's not your birthday uh, season, uh, but I do feel like someone is going to give you a gift. Someone is going to give you a gift. I mean, it could be just a, a, an envelope in the post. Uh, it could be a, a card, it, someone thinking about you, or it could be, I feel like there's a gift coming on in here for you. Someone gives you a gift. I mean, it could be, I know uh, I'm an old soul. So, uh, you know, these things like e-gifts and things like that and whatever, um, I don't know anything about those things, but um, you know, someone may give you one of those um, in the mail, uh, in the emails. Um, but I do feel like there's definitely something. And I feel like this person shows you they really appreciate you. Okay, really appreciate you. So that's coming on in as well. Now we got number seven, and that is a snake. So this is, you know, about illusion or things that are hidden or situations where you feel like, um, oh, okay. Now they, right now they're just showing me Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> That's from Star Wars, right? Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So there's knowledge here. It's almost like some wise person is going to give you a piece of information, or maybe that's a nickname. Maybe you call someone uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, or um, I mean, maybe you just watch Star Wars. That is Obi-Wan Kenobi is 
Star Wars, I think. Um, I'm so uncool. I, I should know these things. Um, but anyway, um, or someone may call you that. I'm not really sure how it re is relevant to your reading, but I feel like it's someone who's wise, okay, who knows something that actually they will impart some wisdom that actually helps you in the future comes towards you. Now that is nothing connected to, I mean, this, actually this card can be about hidden knowledge. So actually, yeah, that is true. Um, that, uh, it can be about hidden knowledge there, but I feel like you're being very cautious about something that you do not trust right now as well. And I feel like you may be looking to others or seeking information on something that you're not quite, it's almost like you're going on a hunt. You're, you're, you're scavenging for knowledge or information about something. You're digging deeper, okay? Now, snakes, I mean, it's number seven there, which is a chariot card, which is about movement forward. It's about overcoming obstacles. So you may feel like there was a, either a hidden piece of information that you needed in order to move or get past something and it wasn't coming, but you will dig it out. You will find it, okay? If you think about the fox, the fox will find what it needs to. It will dig, dig, dig until it you know, scavenges out. You know, foxes are typically called a scavenger, but I, I love foxes. You know, I was only saying in another reading the other day, if you've ever heard a fox laughing, I mean, that is true joy. It is just pure, beautiful energy. Uh, and I really recommend whenever you're feeling a little bit down, just Google or, you know, go on YouTube and fox laughing. I mean, it just makes me sort of so warm and giggly and, you know, sometimes I laugh myself until I cry watching a video like that because it's so endearing. Anyway. So it really uplifts moods, but it's number seven. So that means there is a positive energy that comes out of whatever this information is, or whatever this, if you feel like someone is lying to you about something, I feel like there's a positive outcome. You get past it, move forward, and you learn something about this. Now snakes typically, because I'm a Scorpio, uh, snakes are about rebirth, regenerative energy. So I feel like something is sort of energizing, becoming something different, something more positive, okay? So I feel like you're releasing anything, shedding things that you do not need in order to move forward. Um, and I feel um, it allows you to blossom and thrive. I mean, we've got number 30 there. So as I said, a lot of flowers, which means there's a lot of blossoming in your world. And this is the lily, which is about creativity. So either you're finding something creative about you, a strength or a hidden talent. Maybe it's a talent that you've not really sort of... Um, focused on, I feel like you get really creative this uh, next couple of weeks and I feel like you really start to blossom. Now it could be something that you are using a creative talent in order to be cathartic and get rid of energy because, you know, uh, release any sort of trust issues or process any relationships that have not gone your way or, you know, process a situation that you felt you really need to dig deep on and find out more about your emotions. So you may use a creative outlet to pour out how you feel. It's almost like you're turning pain to gain. You know, you may find that you're actually a really gifted artist and you didn't know and you're like pouring this out because I feel like you're releasing. There's a lot of release going on in your Scorpio season um, for Aries. Um, and whenever you think about Scorpio and Aries, I mean, it's almost like your soul sisters and brothers because of that Mars and Pluto and everything just smashing together. In order, it's almost like destruction. There is creativity and there is beauty and there is uh, chaos, but it's beautiful chaos sometimes. And I feel like you're really blossoming in this. And you know, I feel like there's peace here. I really feel like there's a lot of peace. Um, we've got number 27, which of course is uh, the letter, the communication. So definitely uh, something coming on in here for you, uh, an offer of something. Um, I feel like. It's number 27, so again, when you reduce it, 2 plus 7 is 9, which really connects to this energy that I was picking up earlier um, about communication or a gift, something coming your way that is, it's, it's almost like a recognition or it's just for you, whatever this information is. Now, you may be doing things in your world where you feel sometimes like you're alone, uh, trying to keep everything together or keep everything afloat uh, for not just you, but I feel like for others as well, whether it's your family or whether it's for you have a child or children, I feel like you're doing something obviously for you, but also I feel like it's extending more for other people, okay? So I feel like this thing though is just for you, whatever this is. It's not for anybody else, it's just for you. So um, I feel like something really wonderful coming on in. Um, now they're just giving me a word, which I mean, all they're giving me is, so I don't know how it's relevant to your reading, but Hebrides. 
Hebrides. So I'm going to have to look it up because I've got to be honest, I don't know what that means, Hebrides. So if it means something to you as well, please drop in the comments box below. I'd love to know. Hebrides. I mean, it could be a name, a surname. It could be a place. It could be a bridge. It could be a building. It could be a company that you work for. It could be the name of someone that you know. So please take it. It could be a nickname. Uh, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. If it does not resonate for you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention as their attention may have wavered. Uh, but I feel like really great communication. This is from a distance. Okay, um, they only show me it's from a distance when they really highlight the stamps on this. So I feel like this is um, a message from afar is coming towards you. Um, yeah, some sort of communication that allows you to thrive positive energy and we got number 12 uh, we got those owls there so beautiful energy the birds and this tends to mean community friendships uh, can also mean gossip as well people like keeping their eye on you my beautiful Aries and seeing what you're up to and being like oh my gosh Aries did this I can't believe it they never do that and you're like yeah I'm doing stuff that's different and I'm, I'm walking my own walk I'm, I'm vibing at my own frequency and if you don't vibe with it then okay uh, but you're just doing you is what I feel. Um, but it's number 12, which is hangman energy. So I feel like you're getting a new perspective on things, whether that's on friendships or whether that's on relationships or your situation. I really feel like you're maturing here and you're seeing things like in 360. I feel like you're seeing um, like a bird's eye view of everything in your world and um, you're making some changes, okay? That hangman energy can mean that you have sacrificed a lot for your friends or your family and things like that. And you've been fortunate to keep things blossoming in that area, but I feel like there's an element of you like, now it's my turn, okay? But I feel like you're getting a, a bit of a different perspective and I feel like you're being very clever in a situation or savvy in a situation that benefits everyone long-term, okay? Um, now, I'm just gonna go a little bit deeper and see what else is coming towards you. Thank you so much for that. Oh, uh, we've got the Four of Cups, we've got the Eight of Flames. I mean, the Eight of Flames basically means news, communication, coming in fast. So you're getting the same energy in a different deck here. Now, for those of you who are interested in um, what um, decks I'm using, the first deck there was uh, the Lenormand deck by Lamucci Design, and this deck here is the Marguerite Peterson Tarot, beautiful deck. We got a Four of Cups, which is, you know, you feeling a little bit maybe fed up in your world, uh, some of the situations that have gone on there and you seeking another outlet, maybe even manifesting, asking the universe to come on in and bring you something more emotionally fulfilling. This may have felt, you may have felt like um, with the Four of Cups, a feeling of apathy, like, oh, why have I not got the energy? Why have I not? I feel like you're pushing through all the time, trying to be uh, one step ahead of life, okay? And it's exhausting. So I feel with this Four of Cups, uh, this is an energy of you just when you feel you've given up on something or just when you feel let down or unfulfilled about the circumstances in your life. And it's going to be different for everyone, Aries, but they're indicating the universe comes on in and provides something really fulfilling, uh, provides you a new outlook or a new option or a new direction. So I feel like there's something really positive coming in and you haven't even seen it yet. Okay. I feel like you're too busy looking at what's going on here in front of you and the universe is saying keep your eyes peeled because there's something really awesome coming your way uh, that you're not aware of yet and it is connected to either a personal dream or a personal goal it's really positive okay it's like a surprise gift from the universe in the typical right away tarot there's a figure that sits under the tree with the arms folded like oh, fed up and there's three cups in front of them. Sometimes the cups are spilt. Uh, it's like, you know, these things were not what I wanted. They're not what I ordered. No matter, you know, there may be a lot of opportunities and things coming your way, but you're like, still, it doesn't feel right. There's, there's something lacking. I'm not sure. I can't really put my finger on it right now, but I'm still searching. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. The universe says, well, I know what you're looking for. And here it is. It just had to be divine timing. It just had to be the right moment. So here it is. And I feel like that's what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks for you. We've also got the eight of flames, which means things that have been stagnant are starting to get a little bit faster. Okay. Things are starting to uh, gain momentum and eight of flames means action changes news arriving. So it's definitely communication coming on in here that allows you to change your circumstances in a really positive way. So um, this is, you know, um, I mean, look at that. This figure here, right there, is like a bow and arrow, something you've had your eye on for a while, 
okay? Something that you've got in your sights as a target. I mean, this is your fire energy. So whatever it is you're focusing on, concentrating on, I feel like you're being really clever in the way that you're trying to get it, okay? I feel like you're making some really good decisions. And these are decisions that you are making, okay? Um, I mean, of course, we may receive advice from others, but ultimately, you're doing this. And this is something to be celebrated, okay? Eight of Flames is really positive energy. It's a celebratory energy, um, but it allows you to move forward on something that you felt like you've been waiting for for a while. And, you know, there's like a little cheater there that's sort of manif sort of morphing there, which cheaters are the fastest land animals. So I feel like once it gets going, once you get this information, things start to get quicker. Things start to move forward in a really sort of positive momentum. And we got the Mother of Feathers here. Now the Mother of Feathers, look at that big old eye right in the center. Um, Mother of Feathers is the equivalent of the Queen of Swords. Now the Queen of Swords tends to turn her back to the past, okay? But it's also about being very clear with your intentions. It's also about being really savvy, really clever, but also putting your own needs first, being self-sufficient, being logical and you know leading with truth leading with honesty and saying this is who i am now this is what i want and this is how i move forward and you know i feel like you're being logical about something um sorry about the outside there's a little bit of like um i don't know what's going on in the area but it's kind of I'm, I'm you may have noticed i'm in um i've gone to visit my parents for a little while uh for a couple of weeks there um and there's some sort of i guess display or something fireworks or something outside so i mean it could be for you, it's coming now in your reading, which means celebratory energy. So uh, you could be signaling change, Aries. That's what that could mean for you. Uh, but I feel with the mother of feathers, um, this is about you sort of leading with truth, your inner truth. But it's also about setting healthy boundaries in your life, okay? Saying, yeah, I hear people gossiping. I know that people don't want me to do this or they, they don't support me on this journey or uh, they do support me on this journey and I, you know, you're recognizing who's got your back and who hasn't. But with the Mother of Feathers, I feel like you're getting really clear on what it is you want to do. And also you're flocking towards people who vibe in the same way, okay? As you can see, because they're really highlighting right now those geese. Now geese, sometimes geese are really like, geese are really temperamental, right? So I feel like rather than you being temperamental, I feel like you're being headstrong on something, Aries, but you're being clever about it. So stick to your guns, I guess, <laughs> um, because I feel like whatever you've got in your sights, you are going to achieve and the universe is going to send you a little gift as well to help you along the way. But there's definitely a gift. I mean, this card basically means gift. This card means gift. So this is a gift from a person or perhaps the universe, but this is a gift from the universe, this card. So there's definitely, um, I would, you know, there's some sort of communication that is literally a gift. It could be a piece of information that is a gift that helps you move forward on a personal goal or a dream or something like that. And this is action. You know, the Queen of Swords, she takes action. She gets clear with her intentions and says, I want this and I'm going after this. I'm in search of something greater. I'm in search of that thing that I feel is elusive right now in my life. We have to be reminded that what we are seeking normally is within us, okay? If we're seeking happiness, we have to find that within us first. But I feel like that energy of still searching for something, or I feel like you're about to get news on it. You get clear and you get news, okay? of it coming on in for you. Now I'm just going to quickly clarify this uh, reading for you before we close. Uh, we got King of Swords. Look at that, Mother of Feathers is the equivalent of the Queen of Swords. So you may be partnering up with somebody. I mean, if this is for love, because this is not a love reading, um, I feel like you're meeting someone who is, it's like a meeting of minds, okay? Um, and I feel like there's a lot of passion here and you look to the future together. Uh, I feel like if you've been very disappointed in love, people have tried to trick you or there's trust issues here. Um, I feel like, you know, you're moving away from that. You're not taking the baggage from the past into present relationships. I feel like you're allowing yourself to blossom and the love that you've been waiting for. I feel like you meet someone who is on the same level as you, who bonds together with you. Someone who may even be a similar sign to you or something like that. I feel like, you know, you so this person is wise. 
this because there's a lot of wisdom here in your reading um, and a lot of action as well. If this is career for you, I feel like you're being very wise and I feel like you are making huge decisions that in, sort of have big implications for your future that allow you to move forward. You know, this is something you're thinking about. The King of Swords is strategic thought. It is about getting clear on what you want and vibing with the people who can help you move forward. This is about owning it and taking action, but I feel like you're thinking about things first before you activate them. That's where that clever fox comes in because you're, you're not just walking out there with no plans. You're being clever. You're formulating a plan or a strategy before you move forward um, and you're planning for the future. It will hold you in good stead. Um, but as you can see with the King of Swords, this is also about expansion. So I feel like you are, you know, thoughts are becoming things. You're using your mind to manifest what you truly desire. Um, and it's only a matter of time. There, it's almost like there are other options coming on in here for you that are really um, sort of golden is what I feel. Now, the King of Swords, in terms of you, I feel like just you're making some really great decisions and I feel like you're being really savvy. Again, they're coming up with the same energy here. Um, and the universe is going to gift you because you've been... It's almost like you got really clear on what you want, okay? And it's coming towards you. What you want wants you. Um, they're showing you here around the crown chakra area. There's a lot of butterflies. It's almost like thoughts are becoming things. So be mindful how you think about yourself and what you're thinking about because you're actually magnetizing it towards you. If you're a business owner, for example, and you're an entrepreneur, I feel like you're expanding your business and your logical ideas and I feel like they're all going to come to fruition and be very, very successful. Um, things that you've been waiting for, because the hangman is in the reverse there. Now, the hangman um, in the reverse tends to mean, you know, um, you, sometimes you've been the victim, perhaps, of people who are envious of you or have been selfish and taken up your time. I feel like you're getting a different perspective on these things, and I feel like um, you're going to, someone's going to reach out to you and show you that you are appreciated. Um, I also feel like you're not waiting around anymore for something. Uh, as you can see, there's another snake there in this hangman card. I'm just going to show you this one in the upright. So this is about rejuvenation or, you know, you're not allowing something to hold you back anymore. You're getting out there. Uh, whether it's love, whether it's career, I feel like if there's been an undercurrent of something that you don't trust, I feel like you're digging deeper and you're finding out what the root of it is. So I feel like you're rooting out the cause and then you thrive because you found it. Okay, so it's almost like searching. I'm not sure if it was your reading a couple of weeks ago, maybe for the monthly, where it's like, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. There was like an energy there. Maybe you got a placement in that reading. Um, so I feel like you will find. The Three of Wands is about expansion. It is about looking out to the future and knowing that you're on the right path. It's about, um, you know, opportunities arising for you because you got clear on what it is that you want. And that Three of Wands is, uh, you know, it's like your ships are coming in. The thing that you've been waiting for is arriving. Okay, the next card up there is celebration. So I feel like you move on to the Eight of Wands there, which is full celebration and news connected to it. So I feel like positive movement forward, a lot of wisdom, but I really feel like that happiness, whatever it is that you've been searching for, arrives. Okay, and it could be that you are partnering up with somebody because we've got a king and uh, basically a queen of swords here. Um, so whether it's love or career or your friends or family, I feel like you see eye to eye with this person. You vibe on the same level. I mean, don't be too cut off from emotions, I would say, because the Four of Cups, if, if I'm looking at this from a different angle, this reading, it's almost like if there's someone here that you have your eye on or there's someone here that, you know, um, you're frustrated, it hasn't gone your way or it's always stalling, I would say you've got two very logical people here who think, they're overthinkers and they need to open up a little bit more. Their emotions let go and surrender to the emotions that are underneath, I would say, because it's not going to serve anyone. It's going to keep you both stuck if you're both meeting each other with logical minds, especially if this is a love situation for you. Two people who are really thinking, you know, overthinking a situation. Uh, there has to be a give and take where you open up to passion. Of course, I feel passion there because of that eight of wands, but open up to love open up emotions because I feel both of you are quite guarded in that respect. I mean, it could be a family thing as well. You know, when people are very logical or very sort of vocal about things, 
Sometimes there's an undercurrent of emotions that are being kept dormant because there's fear. So uh, of opening up. Because you know once you open the dam of emotion, it's almost like there's no closing it. So I feel um, there's a caution about approaching it in the first place. Now these cards are um, advice um, before we move forward to close the reading. We've got number 20, the spirit dance. Now number 20 is the judgment. So that's about weighing up options, getting clear again, getting clear on the pathway ahead, your life's purpose, and then taking the first step. It says life is a dance between making it happen and letting it happen. So as I said, you know, you may be they want you to be open to abundance. Don't be closed off to that. It says movement, guiding spirit, flexibility. So, you know, there is a, a fine balance between give and take, going after, taking action, and then being reciprocal to the goodness, the gift that comes your way. So again, it's about that give and take. Open yourself up to receive. If you're always giving, Aries, you don't give space for you to receive. So just be mindful about readdressing the balance. That's true in all relationships or all walks of life. If you're an overgiver, you don't give the other person or the other situation time to come towards you. And if you do, and you see that they don't take a step forward, then you need to release that energy because that person or that situation is not meant for you. It's meant to be reciprocal. Okay, and we got, ooh, what a, what a, what a, a proverb. Those that lie down with dogs get up with fleas. So it really is a, a, a case of, you know, you being very savvy or clever about those that you let into your life or those situations that you allow into your life um, and make sure that, you know, um, you are in situations or relationships that are healthy because, uh, you know, we are some of the company that we keep. Wow, what a sentence. That's what they're giving me right now. We are some of the company that we keep. So, um now they're showing me right now a leaf blowing around. There's one leaf that you're focusing on that's blowing around in the wind. It feels like it's scattered, but actually it looks like a beautiful little dance that it's doing. So either you're listening to this reading and watching one leaf that is just sort of moving around by itself. Maybe that's how you feel. You're this little leaf blowing in the wind. Everybody's got structure around you and you feel like you're doing this little, I don't know. Uh, so it's relevant for some reason. So if it resonates with you, there's something in this message for you. If not, I mean, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading. Now, your final card is interesting because that's your final card is your faded energy, which is also number 12. Okay, so um, numerically, 1212 is something that is important. I mean, I'm doing your reading on 1111. So um, it is very important day today for manifestation, one of the strongest days of the year. That's why I'll be doing a reading for you all collectively for that. It says ready to sail. You're ready. You're, you're moving forward. You're getting ready. You, you know, you're ready to go. You're not being held back anymore. It says, go after the opportunities that arise in your life. You are ready. Prepare. The time is now. Leadership. And Aries, you were born to lead. That is who you are. I feel, you know, feel the fear. Do it anyway. Uh, you are a leader, a natural born leader. And that's what that King of Swords says. You know, you're ready to expand. You're, you're ready. You're getting clear what you want and you're ready to go. So I feel like you know, the future is bright, it is positive, it is blossoming. I feel like you're taking action, you're ready to go on something. And I feel like you've always been prepared, Aries, for this moment, and now you're moving forward, okay? So um, I'm just gonna get you a final, um, sort of, this is going to be like a mantra for you to have for the next couple of weeks. If things get difficult or you're feeling a little bit, you know, low in energy or a little bit um, less confident or whatever it is spirit would like you to say as a mantra for the next couple of weeks. Um, this is a beautiful personal power oracle deck by De Dea Druitt. And it says, I have a higher purpose. I have a higher purpose. You know that already, Aries. Okay. You know that already. Uh, so listen to your intuitions. It's number 23. Okay, number 23. And um, when you reduce it, two plus three is five, which is a number of challenge. So you're here to overcome certain challenges, uh, but you have a higher purpose. You came here with a mission, okay? And uh, I feel like you're ready to get going on that mission now. It's about your soul path, getting clear what it is that you feel you're here for, your life's purpose, and thriving on it as well. They're showing me like a ticket. You know when you get a ticket for something that you you and it's got a number on it and you're waiting in line for something? They're showing me like a ticket. So either it's your turn is what they're meaning or uh, they're showing me like a ticket stub. So either you are literally listening to me as you're waiting for something and you've got a ticket stub in your hand with a number on it and they're about to call your number. 
please take it as it resonates, but I feel like it's your moment. This is your moment, okay? It's your time. So whatever it is you're waiting for, that ticket, your ticket's coming up or something like that. So uh, I don't know how that resonates for you, but please take it as it resonates. Now I'm just gonna get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for the advice from Angels. Uh, for those of you who'd like to be in the chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is visualize something that you would like to achieve. Visualize like you got it now, like you're living it in this moment, okay? Because thoughts become things. And then after the visualization, I want you to say loudly, I am a magnet for abundance, okay? And then drop that sentence in the comments box below, I am a magnet for abundance. And I'll choose one lucky subscriber on the 21st of um, November uh, to win a free personal reading, okay? Um, so your trinket is the tree of life. So this is about things coming full circle, but also seeing things from a new perspective and surrendering to the journey, branching out. There, you're taking roots here. There's something very solid that's about to uh, expand here. There's a lot of expansion for you, but I feel like there's a lot of abundance that comes in this. And they want it in the Queen of Swords. So, or the, queen, the Mother of Feathers. So this is about getting clear on your intentions and being self-sufficient to actually go after what it is that you want. Integrity, they just said the word integrity. So I feel like you got a lot, well, definitely a lot of integrity. Whatever it is you're going for, uh, in truth, follow your heart and it shall be so, okay? You're ready to go, you're ready to sail. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this short bonus reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aries. Love and light.